Good evening, everyone. It's Lisa from Crafting and Cruising. Hello, hello, hello. When you hop on, say hi. We're with Craft Around the Clock tonight for 45 minutes. I'm going to do just a simple little project. I'm not in the motorhome, as you can tell, um, because it's too cold. And, um, I mean, we could turn the heater on. Let me do something about this hair. Um, we could turn the heater on, but we're trying to conserve some of the propane. Because uh, it's getting a little low. Hey, Nikki. And um, so, with what we're going to do today. Hey, Veronica. What we're going to do today. Hey, Cheryl. Um, I decided that we needed to be in here anyway. I don't know what my hair is doing. Just ignore it. I actually washed it and dried it and stuff. And now it's too clean. So, what we're going to do is an experiment. I'm making some Valentine's t-shirt. Hey, Barbara. Thank you for sprinkling that I would love to sell. Hey, Jenny. Um, I'm going to try to sell some, So, um, but I've never done this exact thing before, so we're going to do it together. So we're in my laundry room, and um, we're going to try to get a couple three done. May not get them totally finished, but we're going to try. Hold, please. Let me grab something. Okay, I'm back. So. The t-shirts that I bought, I knew most women would rather have v-neck. I know the snow's so cool. Um, and so I went to Michael's, because Hobby Lobby's too far, um, and they had the cheaper, I forget what they're called, um, t-shirts that are just round neck, but the um, v-neck ones are by Bella Canvas. And that's what you hear most crafters that make t-shirts. They talk about the Bella Canvas ones, okay? I did have fun, Claudia. I had so much fun. Okay, so I got them in white. I got them in pink. And those, I just got through washing. They're still a little bit wrinkled, so I tried to iron them out. The red is still finishing up the wash cycle, so it will. I'll have to do those later, okay? But I have... <coughs> Excuse me. I have different sizes. Um, I think mostly large, extra large. Um, this is a this white one is a three X. Um, that's a large. This is an XL in the pink. So I have different colors, and let me show you the transfers that we're going to use. I ordered from a couple of different companies and I love them. So my thought is that we will do transfers. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, you'll take a red one, 3X works for me. I'll see if I have a 3X in red. If not, I'll get one. Okay, so I have this one that I think is adorable. And I like the little scribbles. So my thought was to put one of these either on the back or on the front and then maybe up above the chest a little bit, do a little scribble heart. So I have this one. Love this one. Some of them are bigger. I have different sizes of each transfer, too. Look at this one. I love that. So, like, here's one size of this. And here's the other size. So you can see there's a pretty, pretty significant difference. And then I have, this one is so cute. This would even be cool on a black t-shirt. Here it is bigger. So again, we have two different sizes. And then this one that I showed you in two different sizes. This would be really cute on the pink. Okay? So, we're going to start out with one on the white. And I think that we will do... The smaller of this one. The transfers I got from Etsy. Let me grab my folder. I don't know what I did with it. I think I took it downstairs. I can post a link. But oh, here it is. You can get on. Um, you can get on Etsy and find a lot of them. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this 3XL. Now, do y'all think that the transfer should go on the front or should it go on the back? 
and then maybe do one of the little drawn hearts on the front. It would be cool on a jean jacket, you're right. The Steelers lost. Sorry. Front, Deborah Jed says. Anybody else? Front, front. Okay, Mickey says front. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to try to find the center, which is, I'm going to assume, right below. Let me tilt y'all down. It's right below the V neck. Is that good, Rodney? Can they see? No, I can't see the top of it. Hold on. Um, I'm trying to get it where y'all can see the V neck. Okay, it's right there. Is that good, Rodney? Can they see? Okay, I'm gonna fold it in the center just to make sure that we're in the center of the shirt. Okay. So, yes, it's right where the V is. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this out on the ironing board and pull it up to where the V is kind of centered on the board. Deborah Jed says we can see. Good, good, good. Okay. And Veronica says you need a cricket. I have a cricket. Thank you for coming me. I thought I was working on the design for t-shirts. Okay, so now, should this come down like in the center, do you think? The center of the shirt. I don't think it needs to be up high, but maybe not totally the center. You this one, you've got on it's about three inches mm -hmm. down from your collar. That's pretty good there. So, let's put it right here. Yes, we can see. Okay. How do you know which side to iron on? I guess you have to make it look right so, so the love is spilled in. Mm -hmm. I guess that makes sense. All right. So, now... I'm going to take my iron, which is on polyester setting, no steam, okay? And we're just going to start ironing and applying pressure until we feel like that we really got it down there well. And then you have to let it cool before you start peeling it off, especially if your transfer has little small delicate areas maybe like this little rose or these little leaves right here you got to be really really careful to make sure that you've got it down there well and then you let it fully cool and once it cools and you start peeling it back if you see that it's not sticking to your material then you just lay it back down and do it again and then once we pull this off we are going to put a piece of, um, what's this stuff you bake with? Silicone. Silicone mat on top of the pattern, and we're going to iron again just to make sure that the adhesion is really, really good. And, of course, if you didn't plan to ever wash this, you could go back and add bling. I could add some stickles on here, which I might do. You can wash with the stickles. Now, when you get ready to wash it, here's some things you want to remember. You do not want to use hot water. You want to only use cold water. You want to turn it inside out. That will help protect your pattern and keep it, hopefully, from wrinkling. You also, it's best to let them either lay flat to dry or um, hang them to dry. And you definitely want to give it a good 24 hours before you wash it. So don't wash it immediately. But when you do wash it, turn it inside out. Just use a very gentle um, soap to wash it in in cold water. You may have mentioned this in the beginning, but someone asked, where do you get your transfers? Yeah, I told them I would put a link if they wanted it. I've got them off Etsy. So, so far, 
This part is sticking. I can't see. When you peel, oh, I'm sorry, when you peel it back, you want to peel it back slowly. So you can be sure, like, see this leaf right here has not stuck yet. So I want to go back and make sure that part is stuck. Doing it slowly will save you a lot of grief in the end. Okay, this leaf is not stuck either. So these leaves, these smaller parts are the ones that are going to be the difficulty. And as I'm looking at this, I can see some darker places under here. I think that's where the adhesion is sticking to the fabric. Okay, so now we need to let that part dry. Uh, this part was our, I mean not dry, cool. This is peeling off over here nicely. And I think it's good that we're going to go back over it with that silicone mat um, to make sure it's really adhered. This little rosette right here has a little um, tiny little branch kind of thing that comes off of it. So this is a process, but I thought I would try some for Valentine's first. I'm going to try to cool it a little bit this way um, and see how it works. And if it does well, then we may do some more for different holidays. So I'm sure y'all saw all of the snow pictures. Yes, I'm like a little kid in the snow. Yes, I made a snow angel. That part's not stuck down yet. Um, we had so much fun. Y'all, it has not snowed that much in Nashville. I don't know how long. Years many many years <clears throat> we've got a picture of our house early on and it's 30 something years old with eight inches of snow about like we have now but it's been a long time way to go rodney way to go but i've talked about like me. we have now you just said like we have now well, mm -hmm. i mean i mean let's just give it all away she's peeling it off Lay that part down. Can you see how slowly y'all can see? I'm taking this off. There you go. Okay, so now let's take our silicone mat and put it over here. Leave it on the same setting, polyester. Remember, no steam. And the reason you let it set for 24 hours is because by putting this heat on there, you're activating the glue on the back. And in order to make sure that it's all down really, really well, you need, and cooled off, you need to let that set for 24 hours. Then you can turn it inside out Wash it on a delicate cycle with just very mild detergent. Um, and then either hang it to dry or lay it to dry. Okay, so let's see how this turned out. You have one inch. Deborah Jen. Yeah, but you know, sister, you get it every year. We don't, so. Okay. So now I'm going to lift this up. Ta -da. And I'm going to pull it off. And let you guys see what it looks like. So there you go. Is my iron a Rowena? No, it's a shark. Okay, let's see. All right, so here you go. Now, you could put another one on the back if you wanted to. I could also do a big scribble heart on the back like we were talking about. Or I could do, I could even take my uh, fabric dual tip markers. These are the markers I have that I got from Michaels. They come in different colors and different size packages. 
and I could even do some little doodling around here if I wanted to. Okay? So if you'll hand me a, I've got a hanger right here. Never mind. All right, let's do a pink one. So this one was a 3XL. That would be so cute with some um, animal print earrings. Some red lipstick. Yip, yip. Okay, let's do this pink one right here. This is a XL. Okay. And again, the reason I got these is because, first of all, the Bella Canvas quality is better than the other quality um, that Michaels has. But... Um, also, the other brand that Michaels carries did not have V-necks. They only had round necks. I don't mind round necks, and sometimes I cut mine. Um, but a lot of people, a lot of women I have found don't like round necks. They only want V-necks. Hmm. Okay. Let me kind of iron a little bit more right here, try to get that wrinkle out. Now, y'all tell me in the comments, do you think we should put another transfer on the back, leave the back plain, or should I doodle some hearts on there? Vicki says, <clears throat> Vicki, A-V-I-N-K, says, cute, you can put grandchildren's name on it. Oh, that'd be cute, too. Um, let me get this pink love one right here. See, this is the kind of scribbling I'm talking about. Now, this one's going to be harder to do because, let me see if I can move it down on my ironing board. It's not quite wide enough, but maybe we can just about, we can't get there even here. So we may have to do this one in sections. So I would think that the the V V E L O. So between the O and the L should probably be about the center. Is that what y'all think? Like right here. I think that was good. good. Okay. So, what does that say? Something about transfer, Ronnie? I need you to read comments out loud. All right. Let's see what comments I can read out loud. Uh, Suzanne McDougall is watching. Carol Stenson says, hey, hey, Lisa and Rodney. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Claudia says, leave the back plain from, okay. from a transfer, though a heart or two in the back shoulder and stickles might be fun. Oh, that would be cute on the shoulder, yeah. You know, another thing, too, is if you do these kind of basic, whoever wants one, they can jazz it yeah, up themselves. Yeah, they can jazz they? it up. You could also take an actual stencil with the pattern on it. Hello. They can't even see what I'm doing. Maybe I should turn it down um, a bit. With the pattern on it, and you could stencil using fabric paint. I see the iron. I'm going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. That's better. Oh, yeah. I love this one because it's got turquoise and pink. Doesn't have as many little things though, so that's probably good because I'm going to have to move this one back and forth to be able to get it all on there and iron. Seven thirty is my time up. It's seven oh six. You're cruising. And I, might, I might just go back on some of these, like where the black lines are, and outline the black stickles. That might be cute. Or just in the little squiggly lines, I could use the black stickles to give it a little bling. Some people like the bling. Some people don't really like it very shiny. So what I will do when I get these all done is I will put them on the... Um, Crafting and Cruising B-I-N slash auction page, the Buy It Now auction page. 
and then I will share it over or link it over to the Crafting and Cruising page so that anybody who wants one can see what sizes we have available. Um, Tell me again, I'll put the, the I'll write down the name of where they can see it. Crafting and Cruising, capital B, capital I, capital N. We're by it now. No Ford, spaces? Uh, Ford slash auction. Without even any dot coms or anything in there? How do they find right. it? They put the at sign in front of it like oh. they do on every Facebook page. Well, well when like they're doing a search, they don't have to. At the top, they would just put crafting and cruising B I N auction. Slash auction, mm -hmm. okay. And we'll put that in there so people will know. But I will put it on the main page too, so y'all can see it on there. And then remember that the first person that puts sold in the comments will be the one to get it. Um, and you'll be responsible for shipping. These are gonna sell for $25. And I'll tell you why so much, because the Bella Canvas t-shirts are more expensive. They're better quality. And then, of course, I have to order the transfers. And then, um, no, a little bit for time. So, $25 plus shipping. Um, I'll invoice you through PayPal. And once it's paid, I'll ship it to you. Where's my little cardboard I have? In the bed. Oh. We're going to try to fan it dry. Y'all, I'm not sure. You might be able to use these extra backies. You might could use them for something. You know what? I bet you could even stamp on these. And use them in junk journaling if you do junk journaling. So don't ever throw stuff like that. that's great tracing paper too. <clears throat> that would be really good tracing paper. But I think with stickles, to put some stickles in these hearts right here, and at least put them in the little squiggly lines, maybe around the letters. I think think that would be so cute. You could even put them in the polka dots, but if I did, I probably wouldn't put them in all of them. Carol Lindsay said the Bella Canva are much better shirts. They are. They surely are. Okay, let's see. Yep, it's coming right off. Can y'all see? Slowly. Eutimus. Then we'll put the silicone pad on top. So you don't do these like taking a band-aid off? No, you don't rip them off, that's for sure. If you do, you might be sorry. No, y'all can't see the L-O over here, so I'll finish it and then I'll move it. Okay, so here's another piece of this, it's like vellum. Carol, so Carol Lindsay, first time watching, where did the designs come from? Hey, Carol. Um, welcome, welcome. These designs came from Etsy. I can put a link um, in the description, I mean in the comments uh, when I get through. But uh, you can find all kinds of them on Etsy. Just look for, you know, whatever season or whatever kind of transfer you're looking for. My buddy... Debbie Prater Norman is watching from hey, Lynchburg. Debbie Prater Norman, we were just thinking little, about you earlier today, girl. got a little snow down that way. Yeah, how much did y'all get, Debbie? Oh, Claudia Barrett says, Rodney, love your hair. Just cut my husband's through his shoulders. Well, mine's <laughs> kind of shaggy in the back, but it's sure not much in the front. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a lot in the front and on top. But if anybody had told me even five years ago that my husband would grow his hair out like this, I would have said, you are crazy. Okay. Let me hang it up and show you. That is cute, y'all. Okay, Brian, tilt the camera up. Look. How cute is that? That one may be a little crooked on there. Mm, it's written crooked, so. But that's okay. Perfectly imperfect. So, and you know what else we could do? 
we could use the little do the little squiggles. Let me try that around the neck. Let me see. So I'm gonna take. Right? I'm gonna take. <clears throat> you say you have till seven thirty. Mm-hmm. Okay. I am gonna take this uh, paper that I have right. Where is it? Right here. Parchment paper. And I'm gonna put it inside just because I don't want the markers to bleed through. Let me fold it up again. And then I'll stick it right in here. Right over here. Okay. And then I'm going to iron just a little bit to try to make this smoother. I can't see. That's that sound of the...